Hey guys, what is up? Um, in today's video, I figured I'd cover a couple of things. Um, first thing, uh, this is my wrap up to Paintable's one week portrait challenge. On this one, I basically went over uh, all the topics covered in the five lessons um, from line art drawing, uh, blocking, blocking in the colors, uh, blending those colors, and uh, adding some details. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Paintable one week challenge. I think it's wrapping up today, but I believe you could still go over to Paintable's website. I'll have that link down below. And those five uh, uh, video lessons should still be up if you uh, want to take a crack at that. Secondly, I figured I'd uh, tackle a drawing, drawing this in your style challenge just to multitask. <laughs> um, this one was based on a lovely image created by the super talented Justina Florentino. Uh, a link to her Instagram is also in the description below. This basically covers how I would work most days as it's the most efficient and comfortable workflow for me. Um, the one that I did previously to start off the week, I started off in grayscale and then um, used the gradient map uh, to be able to get the colors in and, and then had to paint over to the top of that which is like double work for me so this this workflow that I'm doing in this video is a little bit um, of the standard because by keeping each part separate and definitive you know I, I i know that i'm hitting things that i need to hit and can move on in a timely fashion it's it's more there's more direction with it so i, I don't get as lost or scatterbrained uh, in the middle of it the challenge with this image for me was the subtle low contrast tones. So in the blocking of the colors, it's trying to define the basic local colors as I block things in. Uh, trying to find shadows is the challenge. So most of the times I like a high contrast image to work from, but this was a great challenge for me. One, it's is the subtle, the subtle kind of tones I always admire anybody that can handle those subtle things and those subtle changes. For me, I'm just, again, ADD, so I, you know, I need to, I need to have edges and borders to work within <laughs> most days. But this was a good one to work on my, uh, my, my subtlety and as well as my observation. Because when you're in the subtle part, you know, breaking things down into the smaller pieces, really helps with my observation skills so uh, and i also love these kind of draw this in your style challenges you know i'll do them every once in a while one when i'm ever i'm locked up or i can't think of something to draw or or you know whatnot i will i will go through you know every once in a while uh, somebody who i follow on instagram or somebody will come along with a, a wonderful draw this in your style and I love them because it, it gets me thinking of taking what's already there and manipulating so it's like you know you already have directions to get to the end product but you know it's let me take a couple of turns this way let me take a couple of turns that way but also at the same time it gives you the chance to break apart how somebody created something and the choices that they used, you know, and uh, to me, when somebody offers up to draw this in your style, I, I, you know, I, I think it's a really good, I mean, one, it's a good way to study people. I mean, doing master studies is another way, but you know, uh, for some odd reason, you know, the draw this in your style seems less formal. And so I always feel like if I'm studying like the masters, that it's just, you know, I'm just going to let myself down or something. <laughs> whereas, whereas it's, it's just, Hey, you know what? I'm just going to have fun. Look, this person had fun creating it. Let me partake in their fun. So that's why I would enjoy, uh, 
doing the draw this in your style challenges. Another uh, challenging part to this piece was, you know, in the initial, I really wanted to just stick to exactly what I saw. Because again, I really enjoyed the image. And so, but when I got into the drawing part of it, that was like, just draw like you draw, you know, take, put it out of your mind, draw like you draw. But, you know, it, it's sometimes, especially like when there's things that I see that I enjoy, uh, the battle becomes like, how can I, you know, not just copy that thing that I really, really like, you know? And a lot of the times is, is there's that second guessing my own, my own gauge of appeal. And so it's, can I take this thing that I thought was, you know, really appealing and do it in a way that's one, comfortable and to something that I could just implement for myself. So that's that's the, the great thing about these challenges, but it's also the, the challenge. Also because of the subtlety of the tones on this one, I, I found myself, you know, being limited to how many places I could make certain decisions. So, um, so like things like the saturation of the skin or, you know, making warm spots and cool spots without um, taking away from those subtle changes was, was was really challenging for me because again I'm like I like and it's not that I couldn't but again limiting myself to you know keep it as subtle as I could and even then you can see I'm, I'm probably a little bit more contrasty and again it's not just it's like that's a bad thing it's just especially like when I'm looking at reference and what I'm trying to pull from um, again it was that subtle and I'm like a, a bull in a china shop when it comes to art you know <laughs> I just want everything extreme BAM you know Michael Bay explosions you know but you know in the same sense I know that there's a lot of especially like when you can nail something subtly and um, you know get get whoever's looking at your artwork to go wow you know in the subtle stuff you know that's magical because like again when i when i'm pouring over other people's art and they're really good at subtle things i'm like oh, it's just like a, like an animation where you don't need big expressive movements you know and you have this small moment that it just pulls at your feels like to me that that's magic and uh, i'm not one of those guys <laughs> i wish i were but you know it's something that um Every once in a while, these kind of challenges, again, I'll shy away from, you know, most of the times. Especially, like like I said, the last one that I did, uh, changing from black and white to color and using that gradient map. I really wanted to shy away from that one. And when I find myself, I usually try to tell myself, if I get to the mode where I do that, then you have to take the challenge. If you say you can't or you don't want to or it's just not something, I always feel like, yeah, yeah I got to do it now. So I've been getting uh, a lot of requests for like the gradient maps and uh, uh, skin tones and um, as well as uh, just, you know, tone shading and all that and blending. I figured uh, ho hopefully soon after these ones, uh, I figured I would start tackling just more tips and tricks clip studio tips and tricks um, things have helped me especially like transitioning from photoshop to uh, clip studio you know because like like the gradient map i i knew for me that i didn't know that clip studio had a gradient map and i know there was a couple other people that came to me and said i didn't know they had a gradient map so i figured i would i would tackle you know that and tones and stuff like that if you have any other ideas or you know things that you'd like to see um, by all means feel free to put those things in the comments you know I'm, I'm, I'm basing this off of the interest of of how many people would want a specific topic you know again like last last uh, couple of weeks I've been getting a lot of um, tones and clip studio tips and tricks so i think moving forward that's the way i'll go and again if, if you got any ideas throw them down in the comments below 
Um, with that said, um, I appreciate um, all the support um, and I appreciate you guys coming here. If you're new to the channel, I'm hoping to upload as many videos as possible and, and be more consistent, you know. This week I was able to post three videos. That's crazy to me. Three. So it's getting easier. You know, so if, if you would consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, hit that bell notification so that you don't miss any. And um, we'll see you on the next one. I appreciate you. Keep on keeping on.